Good morning, everyone. It's early in the morning. You can hear the birds singing outside, and nobody else is up in the house yet. So I wanted to take this opportunity. I've been waiting all week for this morning where it's bright enough in this room that I could try to do a real-time video. Um, I have three iCADs that I've been working on, and what I've been doing is, I don't know if you do this, um, but this paper, so like this paper that I'm working on right here behind these iCADs, it's just paper, right? Um, I mainly use like shipping paper, but sometimes like if you go to, um, you know, home goods or something, they'll package up, you know, anything glass in paper and I save that paper and I use it as a, as a work table, you know, to cover my table so that I don't care if I get paints or anything on it because when it gets really yucky, I can just, you know, take that off and then I have a clean piece of paper under it. And it's like two feet by two feet, I'm going to say. So it's quite large. Um, so what I do, well, what I've been doing is I watched um, Crafty Mama ML and she was spraying some doilies, um, different colors. And I'm like, wow, you know how easy and what a great idea. So I decided to try that idea with the acrylic paints um, that I put in um, little spray bottles with water. And I love them, I use them all the time to spray. And so what I did was I had this paper down. As you can see, it's quite holy and, and everything at this point, but it was a big piece of paper, right? So I had done a whole bunch of doilies on the piece of paper. So I don't throw the paper out afterwards. I use it. Um, I can use it as a base for uh, mixed media. I can, um, you know, just I can cut it up or whatever and use it. So I, I, I hold on to it. I don't get rid of it. And so what I decided to do was use it on some of my iCADs. So on this particular one, so this and this happened to be doilies that I actually sprayed. But on here, this is the paper. So this is the, the design on the paper that I work on. And I thought it was really cool. So I'm going to actually make that one today. Then here's another one. This is an actual doily. And then this is on the work paper that I spray on. And this one right here is actually going to be my iCAD, I think 19. So I'm doing 19, 20, and 21. And it started out, um, you know, with a piece of that, I'm going to call it work paper for lack of, you know, some other term to use, you know, just meaning the paper that I, I do all of my mixed media on. So um, it started with that. And you can actually see back here is... Um, a shape of a doily, which I had outlined. So I went ahead and I, um, well, and of course right here is a, a doily as well. And uh, there, this one's a real doily, this one over here, and then this one is just from when I was spraying them. So I ended up putting, using a stencil of hearts, and I did that. And um, I went and I outlined them in silver and in white. I have some uh, yellow and orange Tim Holtz um, paint on there. And I've also gone and I've written with the same silver pen as here, which is, which is this pen um, right here. It is the metallic silver. They write so nice. I, I like the thickness of them. But anyways, so here's love, heart, yellow, iCAD, and orange. I'm just into writing words. <laughs> um, I think I learned that from Crazy Island Family from a video from one of them just to get ideas down, right? Just to do something different. So anyway, so this is this is one of my iCADs. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to take 
I'm going to work with this one right here. And I'm going to do it fairly quick. I want to do this, you know, under 15 minutes in total. So I'm going to actually just kind of sit here and go through what I'm going to be doing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my gesso and a card that I have. And right on my work station, I'm just going to, I want to make sure that you can see what I'm doing. Yes, okay. So all I'm doing is taking my card and putting some gesso on the end of it. And I just want to get a different um, layer on here, right? A different effect. So, so far, what I have is the two actual doilies, the design in the middle from when I sprayed them on my work paper. I've already sprayed some delusions on here, so there's some spray. Well, that actually is from when I was working on the paper. So that's why I like holding on to this paper, because there's just so much, so much um, going on with it already, you know. So it already has tons of different layers on it, which I love. So this is all I'm going to do. I'm going to actually just pull this just so down. And it really, what it does is it basically hits the higher points on the page. So it just gives another little dimension. So that's all I was going to do with the gesso. So at this point now, I have another layer on here. So I'm just going to hit that with my heat gun real quick. And then we'll go to the next step. I think... Um, I'm going to keep this rather, I want to say rather simple, rather easy, but who knows what it's going to really turn out like, right? <laughs> so I think the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Studio uh, Claudine Helmuth paint as well as this Liquitex Basics. So we have purple and pink and... I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of this out on the, uh, the paper. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Sorry. Um, so I'm just going to put a little bit out here on my work paper. I'm just going to spread it out just a little bit because I want it to be where I can go ahead and pick it up. Actually, I'll use this. So what I do is I save tops. So this is a top to an Advil bottle. This is a top to a spray bottle. And um, so I'm looking at the, I guess, is it the circumference of the actual circle? Because I'm going to go ahead and take this, put the end of it into the pink paint, and then I'm going to go around the page like this to get some more design on there. And you can do it as heavy or as light as you like. You can do as many or as little as you like. You can overlap them. They can actually turn out a little bit dimensional um, because of the thickness of the paint. You know, and you do some like off of the page, that type of thing. Okay, so that's the pink, and I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing, but this time I'm going to use a little bit of the purple. Now, I won't waste this paint, this paint that I have out on this work paper. Um, I will use that. I'll put that on another card, so, you know, I don't want to... Oops, I'm picking up some of the gesso. That's okay. So, my purple it now has white in it, because I have the gesso right next to it. So now I have the purple, the dark purple on this bigger. See that? Um, it just, you know, I mean this is nothing new, right? You've probably done this yourself or have seen others do it, but I wanted to show it. Um, this is something that I really enjoy doing this particular technique because of just all that it gives to the page. And again, you do as little or as much as you would like. Okay, so I'm going to hit that with the heat tool. So, of course, I want to try to get 
everything dry in between um, because I certainly don't want it to, you know, the paint to mix up with with anything and get smudged or maybe turn into a mud or anything like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and dry that up a little bit. So I think what I'm going to do now, I wanted to, I've been pulling out, you know, some stuff from my stash that I've been wanting to, to use up. And these were just two pieces that I thought would look pretty on here. So I'm just going to go ahead and adhere those on. And I'm just going to use some glossy accents. And I do keep a little um, a pin in the top of it. This particular one, I don't know what happened to the very, very end of this bottle, but it's not there. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so I don't know what happened to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and just dab a little on. Um, come on. Don't you hate that? Let me tell you. I love glossy accents, but using it can be a challenge, right? Because it it um, it clogs. It definitely clogs. All right, so I'm just gonna put this on the bottom. I think I'll put it up this way, almost looking like a um, like water, almost right. Looks like the ocean a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and hold that down for a minute and I'll cut off the ends. You know, it doesn't take too, too long to dry. I like to turn it over and go ahead and just clip it off. This is like one of my favorite things to do is clipping off paper to make it look nice and straight. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why, but anyway, so now that's on there. I think what I'm going to do before I put this flower on, I'm going to give it a little spray. And I probably should have done this before I just put this thing on here, but I'm going to go for it now. So I got, I have my acrylic paint and just a little, um, this happens to be a three ounce spray bottle. Most of mine are two ounce. But I'm just going to go ahead, so I'm going to hold my card up like this, so when I spray it, it gives a little drip. And I'm not looking for a lot here, I just want to get another little layer of texture. So, there it is. It has just a little bit going on there, right? It's a nice light pink. Um, again, I'm not looking for anything drastic. So I'm going to go ahead and dry that up. And I'm going to go ahead and put the flower on. I'm going to go ahead and put some bling on. And I don't know. I don't know what else. We will see. We will see. All right. So you know what I think I'm going to do too? I'm going to put on some smaller little dots of paint in white. So, now let's see, um, this is still, there's a couple little dots that are wet, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that, and then that's good to go. And this is a stylus you, some, you would use for, um, you know, like a, a phone or whatever to, to hit numbers. And I'm just going to go ahead, actually I'm going to use the gesso I have right here. And the end of the stylus is just the perfect shape to go ahead and pick up some paint and to go around and put little dots. So just another little, um, you know, something else to give a little bit more dimension, another layer. And I think I'll leave that as is. And I have my little cups of water right here. I always have a couple little cups of water and I'm just going to go ahead and put that right in the water so it doesn't dry. So now I have this and I'm really liking it. I like the dimension and for sake of time um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and add this flower and this bling and call it done. So I'm going to go ahead and add the flower with my glossy accents and this is actually a flower that my cousin made I did not make this flower um, so 